cruising down a little frontage road here and just uh, wanted to do a little intro. We'll, we'll uh, show you uh, one of our favorite stores and that is in Cantrell, Iowa. It's two and a half hours away from our house, but it's worth it for us to come down here and I'm going to show you why. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll, we'll give you a little tour of the Dutchman's store in Cantrell, mm -hmm. Iowa. Okay, we're going to do a little voiceover action today. And uh, going down to Cantrell, Iowa, like I say, it's a long ways down for us. So uh, this is, uh, I just took a little dash cam footage here. And um, it's been really foggy around here lately. So uh, it's been foggy and the fog's been freezing to the trees. And it's been that way for the last week. It's not real windy. But you see, these are the wind turbines, and there's a lot of windmill farms around here now. And uh, there's actually dozens out there. You just can't see them. And coming up on these wind turbines, it's kind of funny that uh, they were kind of sticking up. Uh, so th the fog was so high, you couldn't see the, st the top half. So here I sped this up at 8 speed, heading through Montezuma. And we got through Montezuma. You see all the hoar frost? Um, that's H-O-A-R frost. That's when the fog freezes through the trees. And we've had a lot of it lately. Really pretty pictures. But there you go. Dozens and dozens of wind turbines out there. And it was really cool watching it because the top of the turbine was in the clouds or the fog. But the bottom you couldn't even see. Uh, well, you could see the bottom, but you couldn't even see the top. So here we are at the Dutchman's store. I mean, they have giant, those are wind chimes, some people call them wind chimes, but they're actually called Corinthian bells. They have a giant set of Corinthian bells out front. They have their nice sign. And here's their fabric department. There's some already made quilts. Really nice quilts. That's their clearance table, clearance clothes, uh, and j jackets and such. They, that's all the ribbon they have. Now here's the fabric. That entire aisle there is fabric. And yards and bolts and bolts of fabric. Just about anything you could imagine. Anything you could want. Now their groceries are very cheap here. We'll get to the groceries. <clears throat> but the fabric isn't super cheap. I mean it's competitive but it's not like it's uh, it's not worth driving two and a half hours for as far as the price but the selection is unreal so I was kind of recording in secret here uh, so there's the Mennonite lady working the aisles that's number two and there's another half an aisle of fabric so I'm not bold enough to go around with my camera in the air so I was kind of keeping it low and I was just getting some footage here there's all the Bat backing and the battings and and uh, the accessories for sewing. Now they have a large selection of handbags and purses, a large selection of quilting blocks, and this is a rough overview. You could spend hours going through and seeing everything, but. Uh, and you can always pause the video. Maybe you can see something better if it interests you. But quilt blocks after quilt blocks after quilt blocks. Might even see some prices. Yarn. They don't have a super. And that was all floss on that rack. They've got a good selection of yarn. Nothing like all the fabric they have is unbelievable. But they do have uh, a lot of yarn too. That was all baby toys. And over here we've got gloves and hats and socks. And I think those are slips, and I ducked under the women's garments there. 
<laughs> so, uh, hand hand uh, wash rags and sweaters, and there's men's plaid shirts and long underwear. There's a nice selection of aprons right there. Really nice aprons. There's a nice John Deere one. I thought about getting that one for my wife, but I got her something different. My wife still wears an apron in the kitchen, as you can see in her videos. Um, Amish hats. This is a Mennonite store. The Amish do shop here. The Mennonites run it. Oh, large shoe department. Suspenders. There's the Crocs. If you like Crocs, there you are, the place to go. There's uh, jeans, nice selection of jeans. And then there's the outerwear and the hats and the Carhartt jackets and the vests. And you see the straw hats up there. More pants. And I was kind of looking at some pants for my son, but we still buy used. So we buy, actually buy online used. Large toy department. There's the farm toys. Full size, well not full size, but very large. The big brooder type uh, log trucks, tractors, and all kinds of farm equipment. Nice selection of farm equipment and farm toys there. Down here you get, you have some guns, you have some, uh, they have a lot of nice Melissa and Doug stuff and they've, I mean you can just see it all. All the way down to babies. Get a fish aquarium, all the schleich animals. And there you, you can kind of see those types of key ring tractors. Lots of places, lots of baby toys, lots of nice, innocent type kitchenware, tea sets, baby dolls. A nice selection of humble, modest baby dolls. It's really nice to see. You could just spend hours looking. Puzzles, games. There's the game. Bibleopoly, Farmopoly, Iwaopoly. That was the Monopoly section, I guess. Games, cards, stationery. Again, this is a rough overview. Oh, and dishes, all kinds of dishes. And this is the China section. They've got a camping section with cast iron and stuff over with the groceries. But these are the decor. This is home decor, cutesy, wootsy, salt and pepper shakers. Nice, uh, I suppose, it, it's probably got everybody's flavor. Belts. There's some more cards. There's a guy I'm sneaking around. I'm not recording you. No. And, of course, underwears and socks for men, too. And there's the aprons again. Now I'm sneaking back up this aisle. And consp oh, all kinds of gloves. And the book aisle. And the book aisle there. I couldn't go down it, but they have a lot of nice books. There's the clocks have a lot of nice clocks. Corinthian bells, Seiko clocks. And I'm going to go back over here once it starts chiming. But you go through the store and they chime and they're just so beautiful. Really nice. And those movements open up. Look up Seiko clocks. But there was like a dozen Mennonite girls hanging out in the book aisle. So I didn't get to go down there. But oh, awesome coloring books and just Bible type books, devotionals. These are all canned goods, the jars, the novelty type stuff. And I think it's, is it, uh, this is Dutchman store brand. They have Amos and Jake. They have Amish wedding variety, but you can see there's pickled eggs and okra eggs and mustard eggs and tomato sauce and beets and baby beets and there's bread and butter pickles, raspberry sauce, just, it's just unbelievable what they have. And I'm just going too fast. Bacon, Bavarian sauerkraut. But this is just to kind of give you an overview. Blueberry jams, blackberry jams, strawberry jams, chow chow, elderberry jelly. Um, apricot jam. Yeah, it's marinated mushrooms. Old fashioned sauerkraut, four bean salsa, peach salsa, uh, Brussels sprouts. Hey, they have pickled cauliflowers, baby carrots, there's baby beets, tiny beets, lime pickles, pepper relish. And then they have a they have a modest fresh produce. It's nothing to brag about. 
but modest fresh produce. These are uh, jar goods, so you can get like, uh, there's an orange juice squeezer right on top of a jar, and you can put up, make it into a water bottle or a hand soap thing, and they have a nice selection of that. Potatoes, and that is um, balsamic vinegar. You can get it in bulk. They have here peanut butters, and I guess almond butters, and something else. Cashew butter, I think. And, of course, if you've ever been to an Amish or Mennonite store, bulk goods. This is how they do it. Spices, any spice you could imagine. From paprika, garlic powder, minced garlic, um, fine ground pepper, medium ground pepper, coarse ground pepper, all kinds of salts. And then here's the specialty salts. Okay, that's chopped onion or minced onion there. Now they have specialty salts. That's smoked hickory wood salt. Uh, down below, uh, let's see, Hawaiian sea salt, black truffle salt, smoked applewood sea salt, Himalayan pink salt, French gray salt, fleur de set, French salt, I guess, and real salt. The bottom was cherry wood smoked salt. Uh, miscellaneous stuff there. We have the teas. They have bulk teas. And you can see. We've got uh, uh, just chai, peppermint, spearmint, honeys. There's honeys and maple syrups and the gu gu guave or syrup or whatever it is. Here's the bulk goods. They get everything from jello to small bags of flour, uh, cornstarch, baking powder, beef bouillon, bran. Uh, there's um, chocolate chips, M&Ms, Reese's Pieces mint chocolate chips uh pistachio flavored chocolate chips um and they're all in bulk jellos there's all the different individual season uh, uh flavorings from like lemon orange chocolate butter uh just anything you could imagine the flavorings for ice cream or whatever those are all sprinkles right there massive amount of sprinkles over here we have the bean section, everything you could imagine, split pe yellow peas, black beans, northern beans, pinto beans, um, gravy mixes down there. Uh, these are the dried fruit section, pineapple tidbits, of course they have bananas, oranges, apples, about anything you could imagine and ask for, dates, figs, uh, all kinds of figs. Um, and then, of course, they have the nuts as well, but that's all dried fruit there. Over here, we have uh, the cappuccino, latte, hot cocoa, that's hot chocolate mix. Um, <clears throat> oh, what do we have there? Just another cappuccino mix, 482 for that thing right there. We have cereal marshmallows, dehydrated marshmallows. They have the hot chocolate marshmallows. This is all the pastas here. Of course, again, it's in bulk, but that's all the pastas and dried goods. And, <clears throat> okay, uh, that was icy flavorings. Bucket of honey, that bucket of honey is $202. There's 50 pound bags of flour. That's what we get when on a flour. I got two bags of that. You can see the grocery haul in another video. If you want to see all that we got, that'd be up on uh, on another one, popcorn. They have ladyfinger popcorn and um, hopeless popcorn and regular popcorn. And this is, they don't have a, a overwhelming amount of bread. They just have a normal bread section, some cakes, uh, those just a little bit of discount type of cereals. They've got a normal section of milk and all. And, once, and they do have good deals on like cottage cheeses. And sour creams and stuff. Yogurts, you can get good yogurt, good chocolate cheese, uh, and, and that type of stuff. Reduced, there's the deli section, any type of cheese. Uh, honey ham, honey turkey, all full nine yards of shaved hams. There's the bulk can section, the big cans, the number 10s. A full line of meat goods, all the LEM stuff from grinders, stuffers, sauce, <coughs> all the uh, casings. Um, pretty good selection of normal canned stuff and other bulk goods. Um, that That's their discount cans. They, they have a lot there, the number 10 can stuff. 
this is their bulk uh, meat section uh, there's some prices you can see usually always have something 79 cent ham up to dollar 29 cent ham usually always in stock they were a little low on ham this time this is the chicken side they'll have some 99 cent type of breaded or marinated chicken breasts 59 cent ground turkey there's they've got 10 pound chubs of ground beef going around somebody here uh, they've got hot dogs 89 cent pork sausage that thing was full uh, we pretty well I pretty well cleared that one out <laughs> I had already got my groceries at this point went back in so they've got ice cream cheesecakes cool whip I uh, got a bunch of that 89 cent cool whip frozen frozen goods that stuff french fries and and uh, I had kind of wiped them out of there uh, frozen fruit too so there was used to be a bunch of those are all steaks and uh, all kinds of steak they've got lobster meat gator meat frog legs usually uh, rabbit that's pollock cod a vast amount of fish this is their bacon they've got two doors of bacons and it's all reasonably priced um, so bacons uh, chicken nuggets chicken uh, popcorn chicken uh, there's a bunch of bacon down there multiple multiple bacons it's all really good bacon we don't like and I got some of that cowboy rub bacon some of that sweet barbecue bacon and it's pretty good um, here's pretzels and chips and cracker section uh, there's definitely things that are just normally priced and their crackers and stuff are usually pretty well normally priced and then there's stuff you can really make good deals on and the bulk and the meat is what you save money on by uh, going down there so they've got all kinds of the Snyder you know like the Snyder Hanover whatever uh, m honey mustard pretzel pieces and stuff uh, they got everything down there that was me grabbing a bag of uh, tortilla chips okay drinks they've got everything from kombucha to that sarsaparilla orange cream soda birch beer which is like root beer except it's got a minty uh, like a wintergreen taste to it all kinds of teas and there's that's six packs of of uh, pennsylvania dutch birch beer then we have the candy section there is so much candy there you just don't you couldn't even begin to choose one so you just avo almost have to avoid it because you, you can't get out of there without uh getting just everything in bulk and I don't know if my camera picks up some of the prices and stuff, but orange slices and just everything. So here's outside the store. Lots of, in the springtime, this is covered in flowers. It's really nice. They hang all their moms out there. That's a handmade poly digger. Now, here's a, a train whistle. I'll do it for you. Come back now, dear.